Hey guys, in this Master That Solo lesson, I'm going to show you how to play uh, the solo from J.D. Tart uh, by Dawkins, which is under the off the under the Lock and Key album. Of course, we've got Mr. George Lynch and guitar. So this is a great uh, solo. It's not too long, but it's a really a good example of a, a kind of um, melodic motif repeated, basically with a nice little bit of uh, you know shred at the end. So uh, the original recording's slightly sharp, of uh, kind of half step down. But I've pitch shifted it so half step down. So my guitar here is really tuned to E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and then E flat in the top. Okay. So the first phrase of the solo sounds like this. The J D guitar is predominantly in the key V minor. Um, but there's this little kind of pre-chorus section that um, the solo is being played over and the chord that uh, we're playing over here is the C major chord. So what George Lynch does is he starts with a little phrase. It sounds like that. So he's basically playing the root note here of that C chord. So I'm playing fifth fret of the G string with the first finger. Give it a good bit of vibrato. Then what I'm going to do is slide to 7th fret of that A string, now using the middle finger and it's kind of pan muted as well so it has a bit more of a percussive sound to it. Then I'm going to go back to the G string, 5th fret, then pan muting the E string, 7th fret. Then I use my 3rd finger to play 7th fret of the G string, back to pan mute 7 and A string. Then I'm going to take that 3rd finger and slide 7 to 9 in the G string. So what I'm doing here is sliding up to the major 3rd of that C chord. Then I go back and I'm going to hammer 5 to 7 on the G string, 1st to 3rd finger. Okay, and at this point the chord shifted up to a D. So what he's doing here is hammering onto the root note of that D chord. Okay, so slowly that bit sounds like this. Okay, now over this D chord we have the little uh, second bit sounds like this. So what I'm going to do is slide. From 5th fret the D string back one to the 4th fret there. Then I'm going to play 5 4 again in that D string with pan mute. Like that, so it's like a little repeated thing. Then I'm going to take my 3rd finger and slide 5 to 7 on that uh, G string again. So I'm aiming for that root note, that D. But I've got a little bit of a pinch harmonic here, so you dig in a little bit more. So the note kind of squeals a little bit more. Okay, and that's the whole opening phrase. Okay, so you can hear that he's digging in. I mean, it's a big thing of George Lynch's sound. The notes aren't just, you know, kind of plain flat vanilla notes. He's digging in, he's getting some pinch harmonics. He's got some slides in there to make the, the phrasing kind of pop out a little bit more. Second phrase sounds like this. So the second phrase is basically the first one up an octave. So we lead into it with those little melodic things, it's like this. So again I'm playing over the C chord, so I'm aiming for that C, that root note there. But I lead into it by sliding up to 14th fret of the D string with the middle finger. Third finger plays uh, 14th fret of the G string. The reason I'm not batting that there, so the notes are distinct. Yeah, rather than bringing together like that. Then I'm going to play uh, 12th fret of that B string and my 2nd finger plays that C, that 13th fret of the B string. Yeah. Then have this little phrase that apes the... That. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to play 13 on the B, 14 in G. Then I play 15 in the B and I use my 4th finger here. Then I play 12 on that G string. Yeah, then I'm going to slide 15 to 17 on the uh, B string and then I'm going to hammer 13 to 15 in the B string. So that's basically that up an octave. Okay, so together that sounds like this. Okay, next little bit sounds like this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slide 12 to 11 in the G string with the first finger. I've got a little bit of a stretch here to get to this 15th fret of the B string. I play 15 in the B, then I play a little pan mute 11 on that uh, G string. 
And then I'm going to slide 13 to 15 in the B string. Yeah, like that. That's kind of again mirroring this that we did in the first phrase, okay? So altogether, that second phrase sounds like this. Okay. Third phrase sounds like this. So this phrase starts off very similarly to the second phrase. You're playing over an F chord now, so this is basically George Lynch leading in to that F note there. And what I'm going to do is I'm slide up to uh, 19th fret that D string with the second finger, so I'm using exactly the same finger that I did for the, the second phrase. Yeah. So I play 17 in the D. Then I'll do 17 in the G with the third finger. Then I'll play uh, 17 fret of that B string with the first finger. And then I'll play 18 fret, that's the F of, uh, on that B string there, 18 fret B string. Of course I'm sliding into that, just like I did with this bit. Okay, so we lead in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend a half step at the 19th fret of that high E string there. So I'm bending up to C, which is the fifth of the F chord there. Then I release the half step and play the 19th fret just in its own there. That's over like a, I think it's a D minor chord at that point. Um, but basically phrasing here, vibrato. Then I'm going to take that same finger, move it back, and I'm going to slide 17 to 19 in the high E string. And when I slide up, it's kind of like, basically a little kind of cut short note on that 19th fret. There's a little kind of rest, or I can think of it as a staccato note. And then I'm going to hammer 15 to 17 on that high string. And then I play 15 twice. Okay, and at this point, I'm playing with a G chord, so you can see. Again, he's playing like a root note of that chord and that G. Okay, so that third phrase slowly sends it this. Okay, next phrase sends it this. To the end of the solo, we have this little flurry kind of descending down the neck. So we just ended up by doing. And that note, you slide off, and then you come into this run. So basically, um, as I said, everything's in A minor, so these are all kind of notes um, from the A minor scale, but we're kind of playing up with this G chord. So the first little bit, the kind of phrasing of it, you can hear um, that the kind of the phrasing of the drums is kind of like three sixteens, three sixteens, two. So it's like da 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 da. And what George Lynch is doing is he's kind of following that uh, kind of phrasing. Either that is what he played in the lick and then the drums followed him or vice versa. But basically, listen to the drums to get an idea of where these accents are. So the first little phrase is that. So I've just done slid off. So I'm going to play 12th fret of the high E string here as a kind of set up. Then I'm going to pull off 15, 13, 12 in that high E string with the fourth, second and first finger. Then I'm going to do 13 in the B string, pull off to 12, slide to 10. But it's so fast that you, you don't really hear this distinct. It's like that, okay. So it's almost like a kind of a grace note slide there. So that's your kind of first bit. Yeah. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to basically do a pull off 13 to 12 to 10 in the high string, sliding to 8. Yeah. But again, you can hear the phrasing of this. You pause in the 13, and then you kind of slide off. Yeah. And then after I've done that, and then I'm going to do 12, 10, 7, which seems a little bit weird after you've just done. But he's kind of descending down the neck at this point. So basically, I use my fourth, third, and first finger. That's what's kind of like an extended, like a pentatonic thing. I'm going to pull off 12 to 10 to 7. Okay, 
So that's your kind of first half. So it goes like this. Okay, so here the phrasing of that, you've got this accent, and then you've got, and then 12. Yeah, and this continues in the next part of the bar. So after it's just done this, then I'm going to do a pull off 10, 8, 7, sliding to 5, like that. Okay, so again, you kind of pause in the first note, that accent note, and then slide off. Then I'm going to play 8, 7, 5, sliding to 3. Yeah, so I'm just coming down the scale here, but again, I sit in that 8th fret a little bit longer. And in the last phrase, I'm going to do a 7, 5, 3 pull off. And then I hit that third fret again. That second half kind of sounds like this. Okay, so when you put the whole thing together, uh, it sounds like this. Yeah. So the phrasing of that, the kind of stilted phrasing, is the important thing about it. He's not just running, you know, running down the scale like that. It has this kind of uh, interesting lilt to it, which is really cool. Okay. And then that's it. There you go. So it's not a very long solo, but it's really, really cool uh, melodic um, kind of vibe to it. And it's really because of the fact that George Lynch is, is hitting these chord tones uh, over the backing that he's playing. Uh, he's not just shredding away, he's being selective, he's got his note choice. And he's using this idea of playing a motif and then playing the same thing up an octave so you have continuity to it. Then you play it again, but you fade it a little bit. And then of course, like all classic 80s solo, you just have a little flourish at the end, just to kind of have that kind of climax to it, yeah. So, have fun with it, guys. Um, I want to say a huge thanks to Michael for suggesting this uh, solo over at the Patreon group. Uh, and if you're interested in uh, getting the, the Helix patch for this or uh, the animated tab for the solo, then head over to uh, the Massacre Guitar Patreon and you can get those additional lesson materials there. Plus, of course, you can suggest lessons and you'll get access to all the previous riff lessons and, and solo lessons and lick lessons and things. So there's lots and lots of stuff there. Uh, as usual, you can follow uh, Mass of the Guitar on uh, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, and as usual, if you've not uh, subscribed to the channel, if this is your first time here, please hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date with any lessons that I put up. Uh, and hopefully I'll have some new lessons soon for you. Okay, so have fun with it guys. Hope you enjoy it uh, and I will see you soon.